So in a sense, the drop of water is not the ocean, even though it's made out of water, just like the ocean. But we could make that distinction. So on the level of the drop, from the drop's perspective, it is not the ocean, it will never be the ocean. It will always be the drop. Does that make sense? Yeah. So from your personality level, which has gained momentum and identity after incarnation, quote unquote, after birth, it has developed its own sense of self-consciousness, right? That is generated out of the state of being a separate person in a world. So from that perspective, yes, it's very impossible in a sense to see that that is all that is, because that is not all that is. All that is, is all that is, including that. That from its own point of view will not necessarily realize that it is all of that, because it's not all that is, it is all that is, but only on the level of all that is. Does that make sense? Yes. So it is understandable that you don't necessarily feel from your physical based perception that you are all that is. You don't need to feel that all the time per se, or even feel it at, at any time, but at least connect to that idea as often as you can. Because what happens then, and this is where the magic happens, this is where your experience transforms itself. It's where you, in a sense, if you see every level of your consciousness as a floor inside of a building, right? Every layer of consciousness that's a little higher has a little more view of the city, correct? And a roof has absolute view, 360. You can walk around and see all sides of creation. Does that make sense? So let's say that the personality self is the bottom floor. From the bottom floor, from the personality sense of self, it does not realize all of creation. It does not perceive all of creation. And it doesn't have to because it's generated, it's created to be at that level. It's generated to have a specific slice of all that is as its experience. It's not designed to have all that is as its experience. All that is already has all that is as its experience. It doesn't need a duplicate consciousness level. It already is all that is. So why would you create a duplicate level of that consciousness? So on that level, there's only one consciousness that's aware of all that is. Any level down from that all that is level consciousness, each portion of that consciousness then has its own portion of all that is that it's aware of, as if that is all that there is from its point of view. Does that make sense? So in a sense, all that there is to you from your point of view is anything you experience at any given moment. That does not mean that there is not more to all that is all that is, but your all that is, is your all that is from your perspective all that is. Does that make sense? Okay, now if you see every personality level or every consciousness level as sort of a shell or a, um, something you can enter and exit, like a floor of a building, and let's say you enter the elevator and the elevator represents your actual free agency, your free consciousness being able to withdraw itself from identifying with the personality consciousness and being able to take itself up in frequency and vibration and expansion and then step out at the next floor and see that much more of the city around it. Does that make sense? So now you have taken your consciousness and you've made it less identified with the bottom floor and more identified with the second floor up, which sees more. So its experience is a greater portion of all that is at the same time. It's still not experiencing all that is because that's not relevant for that floor. However, now what you've done, how you've transformed your experience, how you've become more aware of the fact that you are all that is, is not by trying to become that from the bottom floor level. You've allowed yourself to step out of the bottom floor level, step in the elevator and step out on another level of your consciousness. You are the core consciousness that in a sense is able to move through those shells of consciousness, those levels of consciousness. There is one consciousness that you are that can go all the way from all that is, all the way down to I am Bentinho sitting here with a physical body. So the only way you can experience more of all that is, is by becoming the level that experiences more of all that is. You can't experience more of all that is by being at the level of less that all that, less, that's less aware of all that is. Does that make sense? So the drop cannot be aware of the wave, the wave cannot be aware of the lake, the lake cannot be aware of the ocean. If you want to be aware of the wave when you're the drop, you have to let go of the drop and become the wave. If you want to become aware of the lake, you have to let go of being a wave and become the lake. Does that make sense? Okay. So every shell of consciousness has its own perception that is relevant for its own level. And you cannot take one level and make it become the highest level. It's not relevant. It's not how it's designed.
what you can do is you can step out of one level and enter another level and then become that level of consciousness. And then you see as that level of consciousness sees and you feel more at one with creation because it's a higher level of consciousness. Does that make sense? Is that more kindergarten? That's totally kindergarten. Yeah. No, awesome. I don't have to reject it at all. I can yes. totally embrace exactly. it. Exactly. Isn't that beautiful? Now you don't have to reject being the drop because you realize the drop is part of the wave, the wave is part of the lake, the lake is part of the ocean, and each level has its own set of relevancies. And it's not relevant. The human mind can become a little arrogant sometimes and think that it needs to take the drop and make it the ocean somehow, make that compute. But in an endless infinite creation and an infinite intelligence, there is room for infinite simultaneity. So the drop can be the drop, all that is can be all that is, and everything in between can be everything that it is in between. And you have the freedom as the free agent, you have the right to move through those levels of consciousness at will. Not saying this will immediately become more available. I mean, it will immediately become more available to you, but you're not going to immediately master this again because it's not relevant necessarily even for your level of consciousness to go and do all that. It's not relevant for our level of consciousness to be aware at the Godhead level all the time because we wouldn't in that sense be functional. We wouldn't be doing what we created our extension here to be. So to an extent, you will always be tied to this level, but you have a lot more freedom than you think to surf through those higher levels and integrate them and connect them and make that portal that I was talking about so that you can download and intuit. And I make a difference between, I state a difference between active experience and intuitive experience. Active experience right now for most of us is that we are here and you're, I'm talking to you and you're listening, right? That is our active experience, our manifest experience. That does not mean we have to invalidate whatever we experience on an imaginative, non-physical, intuitive level. That is valid experience too. But it's experience that is active on its own level, but experienced from this level. That's why this feels active and that feels imaginative or intuitive. That does not mean that on that level of consciousness, the one that we are tuning into from here, that on that level, it's not active. On that level of consciousness that we're tuning into from over here, on that level, that is the active experience and you are but a dream. Does that make sense? So when we download and intuit more and more of those higher imaginative experiences and we start to validate them instead of delete them and cancel them out and pretend to be unworthy of that, the moment we start dreaming bigger and believing in ourselves, we expand, we expand to the next level, next level, and we actually start to become more of that energy because from our active experience, we became so fond of spending time with our non-active imaginative experience that at some point that imaginative experience became so imbued into our active experience that we moved to that place where what previously was imaginative experience now actually is active experience. And who we were previously now appears as a dream to us. Does that make sense? So there's endless, endless flexibility to move through infinite consciousness. You need to dream big if you wish to grow up. This is part of growing up. This is part of your capacity. Everyone has the same depth of capacity. We just need to gain perspective. How do you gain perspective? By growing a pair of balls. Even if you're a woman. Don't have to be physical. It can be imaginative. It doesn't have to be active. But you need to have courage. You need to dedicate yourself. You need to want what you want. You need to prioritize who you are above all else. When you do this, you will accelerate and all this that I'm speaking about will be your active experience, if not intuitive at the very least.